What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shonen Showdown. I'm your host, Rob, and since to the right of me is... Rob. And today, we have a really tough debate for you guys today. We're going to be talking about Attack on Titan, but there was a special scene in this recent season three of part two where we see Levi being tasked to save either Erwin or Army. Um, this is probably one of the hardest decisions in the series that has ever had to be made. Uh, be made. Um, and we want to talk about which person do you think is more valuable and who would you save in that situation if you were in Levi's shoes. Um, so first, let's make a case for Erwin. Well, Erwin obviously started right off the bat. He's the commander of the scout regiment. Okay, since the beginning of the show, when Erwin was first given command, he has done a great many things to advance humanity's survival. Um, starting off, one of the big things that I associate with his character is his understanding of the political hierarchy in Attack on Titan. Definitely, definitely. Um, when I'm watching the show and I'm seeing all these, you know, the government officials make these lunatic decisions, you know, sacrificing populations, getting rid of the right. aging populations, you know, <laughs> letting people die, you know, oh, yeah. letting people starve. I'm just, I'm, I'm losing it, yeah, right? the and monarchy is terrible. You would think that from season one, somebody would have just stepped up and tried to kill all of them <laughs> immediately, right? But Erwin knew that the only way to do it successfully uh, and the best way to do it was to stage... Uh, the coup d'etat mm -hmm. with Commander Pixis and the other general. I forgot his name. However, that was, I think that was a really good idea. Oh, yeah. That was, I can't, you know, oh, yeah. you got to give him credit for that. Definitely. Because he not only didn't have to kill a lot of government officials, he didn't really have to kill any of them besides, you know, taking down the military police because they were, they were crazy. They were yeah. a little corruption. You know, they had to. They had to go, all right? But he did it pretty well. Um, another thing I want to bring up is his ability to command men, okay? We've seen him, you know, every anime has has a, the speech guy, right? The speech guy that, you know, motivates people and encourages them, you know, to fight, to unlock that that Super Saiyan potential, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this In this show, it's Erwin, all right? I've seen his speeches. Absolutely. Since, you know, since all of them graduated the Cadet Academy, you know, he inspired them to join the Scout Regiment. I've seen uh, speeches of him, even in the in this, you know, most recent episode, encouraging all to charge to their deaths in, in hope of giving humanity just another chance, just one more chance. It wasn't even, oh, if we do this, we got it. Nah, it's... Doing that gives them another slim, maybe, chance, and he encouraged all of them to do it through his speeches so he's a, he is, that you know he's a great orator you know he, i'm gonna give him credit for that he's a he's an excellent leader yeah. i mean you're you talking about him, him 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 recruiting levi was probably the biggest oh. thing oh, yeah. that has ever happened to the survey corps That's you true. were talking about levi agman who is a complete beast on all accounts as an, a, a complete offensive talent um so when you see that you got to respect that. You also got to respect the fact that Aaron, when he was on trial, who was the person that intervened? It was Erwin. Erwin That's was right. the one that saved Aaron, who's literally humanity's key to surviving. Erwin realized that, and he basically came in and protected Aaron, and now Aaron is, you know, a key piece within the Survey Corps. So we see this. We see him also doing big, big key uh, formations against the female Titan Annie, right? I mean, he yes, basically formulated a plan to basically corner her in the forest. So we see that as well. So there's a lot. There's a lot of great things that Erwin has done. Um, everything you obviously stated before me is actually correct. Um, but there is one thing that I think changes him from Armin at least and I think it's it, this is one of his cons to me personally it's one of his cons and I think he even though 
he's a great leader and he will ta he will take on that task of being the bad guy he will take on that task of you know all the pain and all the hatred from all of humanity in order to get the job done he has less regard for human life th than army at least agree. i think so i, I mean that is ridiculous you are charging towards the beast titan you convinced everybody that this was a good idea knowing that everyone was gonna die and i just think it was just like you know i don't think army would have made that call um if he were you know leading that command on the other side of the wall i don't think Armin does that at all um yeah, so i think you know erwin definitely has a, a, a disregard for human life <laughs> i think he he views his troops as tools to to achieve his goals to to further humanity's uh survival rate and in in that journey he doesn't care who died would you even say that's his main goal i feel like his main goal he just wants to find out the secret in the basement at the you end could, of the day you i feel I, like honestly, and, 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 I'm, I'm levi i'm a little inclined to agree with you right because levi had to come in and basically tell him you know all right relax like forget about your dream forget about any of this right now like we got to save humanity you know yeah. and then that's right. when erwin came to the you know came to the realization that you know what fine you win um so that that's that's a, what that's about, what a, that's, about a case, that's a case for Ern. Yeah, um about, but definitely let's talk about let's talk about Armin let's get, it, let's, get Let, it. let's 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 just talk about this guys army basically executed retaking trust right facts that was him he exposed annie as a traitor which led to her capture that's also him right Amazing. he puts his life on the line all the time Literally every single situation, Army puts his he, he puts his, his life on the line, right? He's also a very quick battle strategist. When he's very yes. quick when he's thinking on the fly. Armin is probably the best one to do this. We see this when you know Bertolt and Reiner are basically both transformed. They're both in their Titan states, and Armin finds a way to split the units. Mikasa, you go attack Reiner with your unit. Er, uh, Aaron and I are gonna handle Bertolt, and he does this almost instantaneously it's to a point where it's like this kid is almost a prodigy you know he's just he's he's elite and he's also been working on his confidence he's nowhere near as confident as erwin is as a leader um and we wow. understand that part you know he lacks some leadership skills but he's getting better and he's growing um so i'm gonna give him credit for that you know what i mean um he's also very brilliant at utilizing people's strengths right i mean we I see agree. this we see this where he knows exactly who is the best offensive power who's the best you know how are we gonna protect Aaron? what are we gonna do what's the most key thing he even has the intuition to find out that you know reiner was hiding within the wall like that 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 is something that it's like what how do you even know that like you know what i mean and i feel like we we, we have to understand that even erwin himself was like you know what let me give armin the keys to the city let me let me yes. let, let army you could drive the boat because clearly there's something special about you that everybody else doesn't really realize except for if you're in levi squad right so we see this um and last but not least aaron himself said that it's i'm not going to be the one to save humanity erwin's not going to be the one to save humanity it's actually going to be army these are aaron's that. words these are aaron's words so we hear this coming from aaron's mouth I have to take that that's a lot of weight I got to take that you know so I got to take his word for it he obviously feels that Armin is a bigger piece of the puzzle than anybody else out there so I think Armin is there you know um anything that you you want to add yeah um obviously I think the most obvious that everybody knows but we haven't mentioned yet um the colossal titan might be the most powerful humanoid titan on the show it's up for debate yeah. but you could make a very good case he Definitely. is the biggest by far, mm -hmm. taller than the walls, <laughs> um, and before before the most recent episode, people didn't even contemplate battling the Colossal Titan unless they had a full regiment at hand right. surrounding him. That was the only chance they could have. Armin and Eren took him on with just the two of them, just by themselves, right. and Armin's plan was to have Aaron seal the hole in the wall and sneak up behind. He said, you know what? I'll take the Colossal Titan on by myself. You position yourself to get around and you could cut him out of the nape of his neck. 
after he's done and, um, you know, gotten rid of a lot of his muscle mass from the steam. I'll take the brunt of that attack. I'll take him on myself. You go around. Right. Um, so, um, you know, looking back, he is very cowardly at times. But when you think mm-hmm. about it, when push comes to show and he has to get down to business, he is ready and willing to get down to business. In this episode, um, Armin reveals that when he thinks about the ocean, uh, which is a big thing for Armin, when he thinks yeah. about the possibilities humanity, humanity can reach once they retake the wall and they start to explore outwards, all of his fear goes away. So, right. so you know, his cowardly but, is, is a big cowardly. But, but hold but, on. Because somebody may make what? a case and say, you know, the way Erwin views the basement yeah. Could we say that Armin also views the sea in that same way where that is their main thing that they they want even over saving humanity as leaders. You know what I mean? Because that was Erwin's thing that he had to come he had to come to grips with and understand that, you know, listen, you can't reach your dream. You got to save humanity. Is that something where if Armin had to give up the sea, would he need somebody to talk him out of it like a Levi per se mm. or an Erin in order to stop him? Um, obviously, Armin hasn't been in that situation yet, but you know we'll see as the story goes on. Is that something that he will also have to understand as well? Is that you know the sea, as the same thing with the basement with Erwin, that's something that humanity matters more. Um, if you're going to be a leader, especially for the Survey Corps, you have to put humanity before your dreams. Um, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, brush Owen's dream aside. I think it's just two different perspectives. Right. Uh, if you think about it, because he he thought that the information unlocked in that basement would be able to, um, he thought it would be explanations of the past. He thought it would be mm-hmm. answers to all the questions brought up through the show, and he thought through those answers, through finding out what happened in the past, it would help humanity in the future. Whereas I think Armin, uh, more more so. He doesn't necessarily need that to move to the future you know even though he doesn't have the answers he would like to have the answers but if he if there's a situation where he can't and he has to save humanity he's gonna save humanity right. because he's still gonna fight for them to get towards the ocean no matter if he can get to the basement or not you know so I think it's just a two matter of two different perspectives but I mean you know Pros and cons, Armin, Irwin, this is definitely a tough call for it is. Levi and us. Um, but who do you do you think Levi made the right choice? Who would you choose in Levi's shoes? <sighs> Scotty, this is probably the hardest decision I had to make on this show, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I wouldn't even say Levi even made the call, actually. I would say Irwin made the call. Um, whether he was conscious or not, <laughs> I think Irwin made the call. And I have to agree that Armin is a person that's supposed to survive. I think Armin is a perfect candidate for Irwin's successor. Um, and I know a lot of Irwin fans out there, you know, are going to be throwing their arms up. Uh, but I, I think when you look at Armin's resume, when you look at the stuff he's done, when you look at his team chemistry with Mikasa and Eren, who are basically the new generation in the Survey Corps. They are, you know, some of the Survey Corps' most prized possessions, if we could say that. Um, when you look at that team chemistry that he has, you look how much trust and faith they place into Armin. When I see that, I have to give Armin the, the, the you know, I gotta give him the keys to the city. I have to do that. I think it's something where, even if Erwin was still alive, I don't know if Erwin, uh, would even have the trust of the Survey Corps after his stunt that he just had, he just pulled. I mean, you talk about him being a great speaker, um, and I do believe that myself, but you even have the soldier is who's about to save Erwin, but at the same time contemplating whether he wants to take him out or not, because this is how mm, much hatred he has towards Erwin. So I don't even think if Erwin was still alive, would he even be able to regain the trust of whoever was left? I don't know. But I think Armin already has that trust. It's already locked in. I got to save Armin in that situation. And that's a tough call to make. And I understand where Levi was coming from, where Hans is coming from, where everyone else is coming from that wants to protect Erwin. But I think Armin is the way to go. You got to put Armin in there. And I think even Erwin made that call himself. But who do you, who would you save in that situation? Do you think Levi made the right call? Honestly, this was very tough for me. <laughs> um, but I do have an answer. 
Uh, when you look back and when you think everything you said was right, you know, mm-hmm. Erwin is always willing to kill his troops, which is, you know, I mean, it's a method to his madness. However, because it, it did, it did, you know, turn out pretty well. I mean, shout out to Levi. You know, we all know that he is the true ace of the survey course. However, um, if you consider the fact that this is kind of a bad thing, but if you consider the fact that the majority of the um, the scout regiment died in that battle, um, if Erwin were to survive, he would only have to win over who? Levi, who's already won over. Mm-hmm. Hanj, who is a big Erwin fan, so she's won over. <laughs> so he would have to win over basically Mikasa and Eren. That's about it. Everybody else in humanity would, would be like, well, I mean, the mission was to retake the wall. Y'all did it. I mean, I don't really understand how it happened, but... You're disrespecting Mikasa and Eren right now. Would he you? would have to win over Mikasa and Eren. Yes. That's it? That's it? That's it? Do you not know who Mikasa and Eren are? Okay, let me, let me clarify. They could kill him in two seconds, all right? I'm not talking about a, a physical battle. They he are would, literally the... He would lose offhand even if Levi and Hans were to team up and it would be... If it were any type of physical altercation, it would be a wrap. I'm just saying... If it's an all star team, verbally convinced, I, I that's who even, he would have to convince. But I, I'm not even. I'm talking about if there was an all star team for the Survey Corps, right? Yeah. It's Levi, and then you're who, who are you taking after? You already know that Mikasa and Aaron are already in the list. They're already top dogs in the yeah. in the in the in the, in the core. Mm-hmm. So when I'm looking at that, I think Irwin having to win them over is way more um, important shall I say, than him winning over, you know, everyone else you mentioned uh, earlier. However, you're Um, forgetting one thing. This is a side note. I'm going to continue where I left off. But you're forgetting mm -hmm. one thing. In the way that he would be saved, he would not have the powers of the Colossal Titan. It would be rough, but let's leave that for another debate. I'm going to keep going, okay? Because that's that's a whole nother, that's rough. However, um, after this fight, if Erwin were alive, I think he would be able to Mobilize the troops. Uh, he already has the queen in his pocket. Historia was a prior scout. Mm-hmm. Um, she may still be at heart, even though she's running the country. He would have to mobilize all the civilians um, to basically take up arms with the knowledge that they have and with the knowledge that they would acquire from the basement. Um, and, you know, man the walls, destroy all the titans within the walls to solidify their own borders. Um, and then he would have to think of next steps. Possibly the return fight when the Beast Titan would return with Reiner and possibly other humanoid Titans. Um, Armin, he's, I think he's way smarter than Erwin. I think his ideas and what you said before about his, his call to action, his quick thinking, right. is way far exceeds anything Erwin could even put up with, which is why he gave him command of half the forces in that battle. Exactly. Um, And I'm going to tell you why I agree with you. Thank you. That they made the right choice. You were were scaring me, man. I was like, look. (laughs) Honestly, for me, it was a matter of time. Thinking back, all of Erwin's benefits, all of his pros, they are more useful to him in the fights leading up to this point in time. With the political strategies he used to take over the government, uh, getting Historia in place to rule the country as queen, they could not have done that without Erwin. Armin would not have been able to pull that off. But now that you look at it at this point in time, Historia is queen, she's a scout, and she is friends with Armin, Mikasa, Eren, Marco, she's friends Mm -hmm. with everybody, all right? Right. So it's not like they would have a difficult time managing the political maneuvers because they got one of their own team at the top, okay? So honestly, they don't need Erwin for that anymore. And if you think about it, yes, Erwin would be able to mobilize the troops more, but now they can return to the capital with the knowledge from Erwin's dad's basement and the realization that they have the Colossal Titan's power now. Um, and Aaron can use his hardening ability at will now. They, right. They, he did it pretty quick, you know, right. like he was struggling before, but I think he's got it. 
if Aaron were to master the coordinate and they were to use it in in tandems with the Colossal Titan's power, right. they don't need to mobilize any troops. They can <laughs> clear the borders themselves. Right. Okay? Them, them two plus their own team member Historia as queen plus the knowledge from Aaron's basement giving them all of the backup data they need to take on the enemies over the sea, they will be more than ready to take on any type of any type of return conflict when the Beast Titan and Rhino were to return. They will be more than ready to take that on. And I think the only thing they would need, the most important thing they would need to help them in that fight is quick thinking. And Armin's got that. Right. Exactly. I, I listen. I I agree with everything you had. First of all, there's not even really any troops left to galvanize if we want to talk about it. Um, so <laughs> Erwin would basically. I mean, he wouldn't be rendered useless if he were saved. But Armin being alive is uh, a way more uh, important role and a way more important uh, person in the Survey Corps as of right now. Looking at where Erwin is um, towards his you know his downfall. Um, so. I agree. We obviously have Armin being the person that we would both save if we were in Levi's shoes. Yo, um, another thing. Uh, another thing that I just thought of. In that battle where Armin took down the Colossal Titan, he now understands the Colossal Titan's powers more so than Berto ever did. Right. He yeah. understands that if you use too much steam, his muscles will be too slim. Right. And he can just be cut out super quick. It's a quick you know, he under he knows the, the battle pros of and cons the battle of, of the Colossal Titan's power and he can arguably use them better than Burkhold did. So yeah. I I'm I'm worried for, yeah. for the Beast Titan. I'm yeah. worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he can't be he can't throw rocks anymore. He can't be throwing bullets anymore because that's that's food if it, if Armin's yeah, nah. in the, if Armin nah. transforms. Sheesh. I'm worried. But uh yeah guys, um definitely let us know down in the comment section below who you guys would save. Would you rather save Erwin or are you going to save Army? And with that, we're signing out.